The Salton Sea is the largest lake in California and was made by mistake in 1905 when a levee blocking the Colorado River failed. The Colorado River flowed into the Salton Basin unabated for two years. Because it is landlocked and has no outlet, the concentration of salts and sediments have accumulated over the last 113 years. The central issue of the Salton Sea is water. Not enough of it. Every day, more water evaporates from the Salton Sea than flows into it. The exposed lake bed has sediments that can elevate the already increased rates of asthma in the communities around the sea. As the Salton Sea continues to decline, it drags the whole area down economically, driving people away and depressing property values. We are Global Water Farms, an environmentally friendly desalination startup company that is working on a solution to make the Salton Sea the nexus for the production of new fresh water in the American Southwest. Global Water Farms' mission is to sustainably supply the fresh water needed to cultivate a healthy future for the American Southwest. Our technology can deliver an environmentally friendly solution to remediate the Salton Sea and deliver virtually unlimited fresh water for Southern California. Global Water Farms is building its first full-scale pilot in Riverside County on the east side of the Salton Sea. Once operational, the pilot will confirm our projections for the various performance parameters of our technology. I'm Joseph Mireles. I am the Vice Chairman of Torres Martinez Desert Cuya Indians. Uh, we're located about 30 miles east of Palm Springs. We have 11,000 acres that are located underneath the Salton Sea and we have another about 11,000 acres uh, near the Salton Sea in Riverside and Imperial County. In October of 2020, um, I was happy to meet Dan Bliss and um, his partner with GWF. They happened to have some land that's near us um, and they were talking to me about the technology that they have to take the salinity out of the water in the Salton Sea and to um, put more water into the sea and do some sort of a water transfer just internally um, with the Salton Sea water. That was, I thought that was a great idea and I still think it's a great idea, but I wanted to expand on that with them a little bit to see what else can that technology do. So we had a conversation about the fact that a lot of our tribal land has private wells and we don't have the infrastructure in place to have um, public drinking water. So we had the conversation and started the conversation to determine, okay, can this technology also be used to provide um, water, drinking water to residents who are on private wells. Global Water Farms' technology is designed to remove a lot of salt from a lot of water. But since it's a true distillation process, it should remove everything from the water that is not water, including arsenic. We presented our idea to the Tribal Council and they agreed to let us use our prototype to demonstrate that Global Water Farms' desalination technology also removes arsenic. Ultimately, Global Water Farms and the Torres Martinez tribe share the same goal, which is to see a sustainable, healthy, and vibrant Salton Sea bringing economic opportunity and development to the region. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is, is testing the water. The first test I'm going to do is an arsenic test. Uh, requires these three reagents. So we fill it up to 100 milliliter line. 15 seconds of shaking. And then we go for reagent number two. And again, three scoops. So two minutes have gone by, so it's time for me to put the third reagent in. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna put the different cap on. And we're going to take a strips out. All right, see the bubbles? Okay, 
Those bubbles are going to go up onto that little strip, that little patch that I told you about, and it's going to turn yellow to correspond with however much arsenic is in the water here. So we just have to wait 10 minutes. All right, our timer's gone off. So now we're gonna see what sort of arsenic we have here. Compare it here. You can see it's, uh, let's see, between 30, no, it looks a little bit darker. So it's between 30 and 40, I'd say. I don't think it goes up to 50. It's darker. So I'd say it's between 30 and 40. That's what we got. The Pacific Institute estimates economic and environmental degradation could cost the state and federal governments up to $70 billion to mitigate if no action is taken to fix the problems at the Salton Sea. We want to show you our prototype producing clean water from a well containing dangerous levels of arsenic. In the simplest terms, the prototype does exactly what nature does during the hydrologic cycle. Surface water, like oceans, lakes, and rivers, evaporates into the air and forms clouds as the water vapor rises and cools. As it cools further, the water vapor falls back down as rain and snow. The equipment in our prototype creates the same cycle in a controlled and efficient manner. We are, in effect, turbocharging nature. And at the end of the process, we have distilled water. All right, this is our distilled water. Um, we're gonna send it off to a lab to see if it's got any, uh, any arsenic left in it. We don't think so. We have received the results of the lab test, and in a nutshell, our technology has removed so much of the arsenic that it is virtually undetectable by the lab's measurements. The lab analyzed two samples. The first sample was the well water, and the results are here on page five of 12. It shows that the sample held 41 micrograms per liter of arsenic, which is four times higher than what is considered safe. If you remember the results of our arsenic field test, it showed an arsenic reading of between 30 and 40 micrograms per liter, so it wasn't too far off. The second sample is the well water that was treated by our prototype. And here on page eight of 12, we can see the results for the well water with arsenic that went through our distillation process. It shows that the amount of arsenic left in the treated well water is less than two micrograms per liter. So according to the lab results, it looks like Global Water Farms' desalination technology can also be used to virtually eliminate toxins like arsenic from water. This could be good news for Joseph and the Torres Martinez Tribal Council as they consider what options they have for dealing with arsenic in their well water. Just look at the potential of the Salton Sea. It's so beautiful, even now as it's dying. It still has wetlands and other microhabitats that are trying to hang on. There are stubborn bird colonies that have managed to adapt. There are hopeful people that live around it. All that is needed to bounce the whole area back to life is a source of water. Any water. Can you imagine the salt and sea full of water, full of fish, birds everywhere, people swimming, boating, fishing, new towns and communities? Let's remember that the Salton Sea is over 240 feet below sea level at the surface. Imagine ocean water in the Sea of Cortez following gravity to fill up Laguna Salada in Mexico and then with a little help continuing to flow downhill into Southern California to refill the Salton Sea with fresh seawater. Global water farms will extract just the right amount of incoming water and salt from the Salton Sea to establish and maintain optimal water and salinity levels. Once the salt water has been treated or desalinated, Global Water Farms will add that new fresh water to the Coachella Canal for further distribution to Southern California via existing aqueducts and canals. This is the perfect win-win-win scenario. 
a virtually unlimited supply of new fresh water, a healthy and sustainable salt and sea, and a return to economic and environmental vitality for the entire region. This is Global Water Farms' vision for Southern California. Won't you join us on this exciting journey to water's future?